By this point in the year, we can honestly look back and assess how we've done. And no, we have enough time to overcome any procrastination in meeting our goals. Like the eighth step, we make a list. Pray for the willingness to make the appropriate action in order to live life to the fullest with others. Life apart from is no longer appealing. We are meant to be with others, to share in brotherly love. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share. Then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, our wounds are our blessings. The miracle is meant to be shared. August 22nd, thought for the day. Those who do not recover are people who are constitutionally incapable of being honest with themselves. There are such unfortunates. They are not at fault. They seem to have been born that way. They are naturally incapable of grasping and developing a manner of living which demands rigorous honesty. Their chances are less than average. There are those, too, who suffer from grave emotional and mental disorders, but many of them do recover if they have the capacity to be honest. Am I completely honest with myself and with other people? Meditation for the day. You can make use of your mistakes, failures, losses, and sufferings. It is not what happens to you so much as what use you make of it. Take your sufferings, difficulties, and hardships and make use of them to help some unfortunate soul who is faced with the same troubles. Then something good will come out of your sufferings and the world will be a better place because of it. The good you do each day will live on after the troubles and distress have gone, after the difficulty and the pain have passed away. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may make good use of my mistakes and failures. I pray that some good may result from my painful experiences. Constitutional. The use of the word in this regard means at our core who we are as people. In this case, they are incapable of seeing the truth in themselves. Their delusion is so strong that there is no hope for them. Yet, a few lines down, it says their chances are less than average. So, there is hope for them, a small chance. Dr. Young said something similar to Roland Hazard when he got drunk on the ship home after spending a year under Young's care. Young said he has never seen an alcoholic of his type ever recover. But then Roland asked again, is there any hope for him? Young surprisingly said yes. Jung had heard of a few people who had a spiritual readjustment, which is exactly what he was trying to do with him. Only when we can honestly surrender and admit we are powerless can we begin to climb our way up from our bottom. If we believe we have any power to control our drinking, we will not make it. For the real alcoholic, we know of no other way to get started. We must be in 100% because we know from countless experiences the slippery slope of control will eventually get us drunk. We don't like thinking we are dishonest people, but we realize we are lying to ourselves as much as to other people. We were sick. We weren't bad. We may have done some bad things, but we seek to be healed, not to be good. When we came into the program, we heard other people share their stories, and we identified with their problem. And their solution was foreign to us, but sounded reasonable. We believe these people knew what they were talking about from their lived experiences. They talked about how they felt, and we knew because we felt that way too. As they share their experience, strength, and hope, what it was like, what happened, and what it is like now, we thought, if they can get and stay sober, so can we. If we do what they did, we surely can get what they got. We had belief, which turned into faith, and we completed the steps, and now we live the steps by passing it on to others in need. 
it is a miracle for us who were hopeless to now be vital members of society that can selflessly help others achieve the same. We transmit what we have, which is a relationship with a higher power, which is the ultimate solution. We use our past troubles to connect, and we show how we were reborn to align our will with our higher power's will, which removes the obsession and gives us a new lease on life, the easier, softer way. Consider, our wounds are our blessings. The miracle is meant to be shared. August 22nd, thought for the day. Those who do not recover are people who are constitutionally incapable of being honest with themselves. There are such unfortunates. They are not at fault. They seem to have been born that way. They are naturally incapable of grasping and developing a manner of living which demands rigorous honesty. Their chances are less than average. There are those, too, who suffer from grave emotional and mental disorders, but many of them do recover if they have the capacity to be honest. Am I completely honest with myself and with other people? Meditation for the day. You can make use of your mistakes, failures, losses, and sufferings. It is not what happens to you so much as what use you make of it. Take your sufferings, difficulties, and hardships and make use of them to help some unfortunate soul who is faced with the same troubles. Then something good will come out of your sufferings and the world will be a better place because of it. The good you do each day will live on after the troubles and distress have gone, after the difficulty and the pain have passed away. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may make good use of my mistakes and failures. I pray that some good may result from my painful experiences. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.